All right, today is Next Star Founders Day of Caring. This is when Local 24 News celebrates our parent company's 23rd anniversary by volunteering and giving back to the community that we know, that we serve, that we love. This year we are working with Brownsville Road Elementary School in Bartlett. Local 24 News anchor Katina Rankin is live for us inside the school. She's kind of adopted this school as her own as well, reading to the students there. She has a breakdown on what's going on. You guys are doing some damage there, painting quite a few rooms. We have, John Paul, we are halfway through our goal. The goal was to paint 14 rooms, and we have done seven thus far. And you're absolutely right. I have actually adopted this school. It was the very first school that asked me to come out and read when I moved to this Memphis market. And so it is near and dear to my heart. And then about, I guess, two, three weeks ago, when Shelby County Schools asked community leaders to be principal for a day, this was the school that was assigned to me, and I'm so happy that I came out because I got to find out some of the needs of the school. And one of the things was painting these 14 classrooms because they had not been painted in five years. So, if Lamar was sort of pan around, you can see where we have put in some beige on these walls, and we've also put in an accent wall, some navy blue, and so we're just trying to make it bright and cheery for these students. But, John Paul, I also need you to know this. This is a school where 73% of the students are in need. Did you hear that number? 73%. And to talk more about that and exactly what that means is the assistant principal that is joining me, which is Velvet Jeter. Thank you so much for allowing us to come in and to give back. Tell us the needs of the students. Okay, so of course, like you said, we do have 73% that what we call economically disadvantaged. So what that means is that 73% of our students, they qualify for free and reduced lunch. So as a result of that, oftentimes students need supplies when schools are uniforms. Uh, we do have a washer and dryer here on site. So if a student comes and their clothes are maybe dingy or not clean, we're able to meet those needs here in the school. And you know, I went over to West Africa uh, and Ghana last year and it was students there who did not have food to eat and then I understand here back at home right here at Brownsville that on the weekends that you send actually brown bags home with food in it for the kids so they can eat on the weekends tell our viewers about that yes so that was something that we did um, start this school year through our family engagement specialist so on the weekends we do have about 60 to maybe about 100 students their parents of course have to sign off for it and we send home weekend meals um, in a brown paper bag, and it has uh, juices, snacks, uh, fruit, just things that will last them through the weekend to make sure that they get a good meal. Thank you for all you do for the students. I appreciate you joining me. So, as you can see, John Paul, the need is great beyond painting. If you would like to give back and would like to help the students here at Brownsville Elementary, just send me an email to krankin at localmemphis.com. That's K-R-A-N-K-I-N at localmemphis.com, and I will get a list to you. But for now, we're live at Brownsville Road Elementary. Katina Rankin. Local 24 News.